Hey, I'm Jeff. I am Shalea. And today we're going to talk to you about a particular concept mm -hmm. which uh, may leave you confused beforehand because you don't understand what we're about to say next or what we're, why we said that when you present us with an idea or you ask us a question. But for us, it's very clear. There's a very specific formula about whether something is Jeff and Shalia approved. <laughs> and we've already, it's, our, it's already like we've got this container, right? And there's a very clear line around it. And all the things inside are Jeff and Shalia approved. And all the things that ever will be are Jeff and Shalia approved. And all the things that ever were and are uh, will always be in this box of Jeff and Shalia approved. And what we mean by this is, if you come to us with some uh, concept, and you're like, what about this concept? And we're like, we trash the concept, we're like, this is incredibly useless, what is this? And you're like, oh, well, I thought it was a good idea, but right. now I'm not so sure, right? Not Jeff and Shalia approved. Well, we'll get there. Oh, okay. We're just talking about what does that mean to be Jeff and Shalia approved or oh, not, right? Oh, be, yeah. And then you bring us, you're like, well, what about this other concept? I'm not so sure about that. And we're like, oh, it's amazing! Oh, yes, go that way and do it! Wow! And you're like, huh? I thought, okay, <laughs> right? You know? And we want to leave it, leave it to you so that you know very succinctly, clearly, and specifically why it, why it is that we're doing this. Right. And we're, this isn't just some random thing or like, you know, the catch of the day, why we get excited and we're, we <laughs> point you in a direction or why we're like, oh no, don't, don't deal with that crap because, you know, whatever. It's not because we're sponsored for the good ideas and not sponsored for the bad <laughs> ones or, you know, some weird thing. Right. There are very specific parameters and the parameters are this. Is it Jeff and Shalia approved? Well, it is if it is true. Right. But and, how, how do you qualify what's true? Okay. Because at one point, you know, people would say, oh, it's true that the Earth is flat. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. uh, that doesn't mean it's Jeff and Shalia approved. And that's not even, like, really the realm of what this is for. It's for whether something is aligned with God aligned with love, right. aligned with ultimate truth. Mm -hmm. And then Shalia and I, we align ourselves to that. And then we approve of and say, oh yeah, we're for this, for yeah. anything that is aligned with truth and everything that is aligned with truth, even if it appears to be against us, and it never is. So for instance, there's a theory in the Twin Flame community, the spiritual community at large, if I'm correct in what you're about to talk about, I don't know. What do you think I'm going to talk about? Well, we're going to have to say it first. Alright. Well, anyway, okay. So, you know that there's only 144,000 oh. okay. twin flames on this planet. I don't know who the hell, like, said this and, like, made a blog about it and, like, or did it and or did a video about it. Like, who was that person that did that and now so many people agree with them because... If you just really dig and you look at the logic and the rationality of that, um, it's cruel as fuck, you know? It's elitist, so. And it's elitist and it's wrong and it's untrue. Now, there's a reason why uh, that theory, for instance, is not true. Jeff, would you like to share? Because uh, everyone's got a twin flame. But why? I mean, yeah. Well, everyone, everyone on the planet has a twin flame, so that, like, you know, there's seven billion plus twin flames on the planet. So everyone has a twin flame. That's obviously a mathematical disparity. Well, go deeper. Uh, why don't you? I'll go sure deeper. I'll here. go deeper, okay? Um, because we're all equal children of God, okay? We were oh, all created uh, with a perfect divine counterpart and complement. Uh, there is, like, I can't imagine someone saying to me, No, Shalia, you're not part of the 144,000 people out of 7 billion, over 7 billion people on the planet. You know, you don't have your twin flame. But I do. I'm special, and I'm the one that's gonna, you know, turn the tide of the world with my twin flame and rise above like some fucking rock star that's so super spiritual and I have my twin flame. It's like, no buddy, like, holy arrogance. Absolutely yeah. not. God did not create like a 
an extremely small percentile of, cre of God's creation with the twin flame. No. Mm -hmm. Everyone has one. You see this in uh, even like spiritual, uh, spiritual traditions and, and scriptures where, you know, there is definitely, uh, you know, stories and an understanding of a divine, even Adam and Eve in the Christian Bible, there was a man and a woman who were created as perfect divine complements. That's an extremely symbolic uh, story, by the way. I, I don't take it too literal, but my point is that you know, or like um, Krishna and Radha, uh, twin flames. You know, uh, but they didn't say, "Ha ha, look at me! It's just me, guys." You know, or I'm just one of I'm one of the twin flames. Hundred forty-four thousand. You're special. You're not. Yeah, we're That's Krishna. That's a separation and Radha. consciousness. Separation. And the point is, yep. and this is what Shalia is really getting to, is. There's only two things. One is Jeff and Shalia approved. <laughs> the other is not. Right. Everything that is love is Jeff and Shalia approved at its core, right? Right. Everything that is fear-based, or another way to say that is ego-based, mm -hmm. or another way to say that is causing separation or separation from your creator based. Right. That is not Jeff and Shalia approved. So you can use this term to find out, you know, to assist and guide you if you're not super clear on this one yet. Is it defined? Right. I mean, um, any <laughs> any educational system, uh, just in general, if it is not rooted in spirit, then they are teaching um, they are teaching lies. They're not teaching truth mm -hmm. because God and spirit and the divine and love at the center of everything, all of creation, all knowledge, all math, all science, every breath in our body, mm -hmm. you know, it's God, mm -hmm. okay? And, I mean, there's a very clear line, some people might say, oh, well, you're just really judging, you know, you, you guys, it's just an opinion. Mm -hmm. Well, um, when you're truly aligned with God, you don't have judgment, that's impossible. Uh, because you're living only in your divine self and you do not have an opinion because you're aligned with divine truth and you can either choose to accept it or not you know it's not our business that's between you and God mm -hmm. um, but the fact is is when you know you know <laughs> you know and that's just the truth of it because uh, when you're aligned to truth you're open to it there's no uh, resistance to truth, to understanding, and another big thing is like, does it feel good or does it feel bad? You know, mm -hmm. your feelings are like a really huge indicator, like... Does it feel good or bad right now? Not, oh, it feels good if I add a whole bunch of other ideas onto it, on top of it, then it feels kind of good. Right, like... And then future ideas too, right? <laughs> Not right now. Let go of everything future, look at the present, be present with it. Right. Does it feel good, yes or no? Yeah, like, you know, for instance, like, I've read Twin Flame uh, blogs in the past where they are basically saying, or they were saying, and I'm paraphrasing here, that, it, you know, um, separation is normal. Expect separation from your Twin Flame. There is a separation phase. You'll get together, and then you won't be together again, and how many separations you go through, well, we don't know. Right, or that in order to be together, there has to be separation. And I remember no. just feeling this sick feeling in my stomach and in my, and in my heart. I'm like, that doesn't feel right to me. That feels really bad. Now, don't get caught in the trap of thinking, oh, well, that makes sense. Uh, no. Just because someone wrote it on a fancy web page doesn't mean it's true. But just because it makes sense based on a bunch of ideas that they fed you or you've been fed before or thoughts that you've been having and they make sense with, it doesn't make it true. Right. Truth makes it true. Truth. One truth. Yes. Not Jeff's truth, and then Bob's <laughs> truth, and Susie's truth, and then their truth. No, no, no. Everyone has their own individual, unique perspective. But there's only one truth. Yeah, the whole purpose of perspective is to get to the place where you no longer need perspective. Okay, it's, it's you transcend that and you align with mm. the one truth, the one reality. <laughs> God reality. Another way to look at it is, um, you know, you have an apple tree. 
and it's definitely not an orange tree. No matter how many people gather around and they agree, oh, it's an orange tree now, right? Ah, yeah, let's all squish them up and yeah. the juice is orange juice and we'll market it as orange. Okay, that's not true. It's an apple tree, no matter what you say to it, no matter what label you put on it, no matter how you twist your words, the truth is it's an apple tree. Now, some people may see that apple tree and say, yeah, yeah, that's lumber. Okay, good, that's true, right? <laughs> that's true. Someone may see it and say, oh, you know, that's a, uh, a biological organism, or, you know, that's uh, income because it produces fruit, right? Or that's, uh, you know, source of oxygen. These are all aspects or qualities or extensions of the core truth. It's an apple tree, and that ain't gonna change, right? Right, yeah. So, uh, one more piece is you wanna align yourself to all that is Jeff and Shalia approved. Or it's just a funny way of saying, is, is it true or divine? Is it real? Is it the one truth? And when you align yourself with the one truth in yeah. all that you are, nothing you say is incorrect. Nothing you say is not true. Nothing you say is not real. Everything you say and think yeah. and do is an extension of your creator and God. And okay. that's what we yeah. became. Big. That's what we are. And that's what we are encouraging and guiding you to be as well. Right, because it's, it's a harmonization with God, harmonization with the divine. And because we were focused uh, on dissolving the blocks and barriers to our union, to get into our harmonious union, we also achieved harmonious union with God. And so um, we're never out of alignment. Mm -hmm. And the truth can be, that can be your truth as well, if you so choose. Right, very mm -hmm. good. So is there anything else you want to say? No, I think I'm good. Yeah, we really yeah. wrapped the bow around that one and uh, tied it neatly for right. you know, our viewers. And we thank you all so much for joining us here, yes. for not just watching our videos, but being here with us, being present with our teachings, yes. accepting and inviting our teachings into your world, and using our work to change your reality for the better, using our work to dissolve the illusion that is fear in your reality, and to claim God's kingdom of true love, of truth, of perfection in your life. And when you do that, you change the world. That's how you do it. So thank you for subscribing to our channel, for being like with you. us. I like you too. <laughs> and uh, for sharing You're our work. You are approved, no? <laughs> I like you. All right, we'll see you guys in uh, other uh, videos. And I guess... Uh, Check out the box below as well. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. Take care.